Hello, and welcome to the Grim Reaper's review of the iOS and Android app Smooth Track. I'm Tanky, and whilst I mainly fly in VR, I was asked to give you wonderful viewers a rundown of this app. Full disclosure, I bought this app myself, and we get no kickbacks from this review. So now that's out of the way, let's crack on with this review. This app is a head tracking app, similar to what you would get with a DIY or track IR device, but it runs off your iOS or Android device. I have an iPhone 8 Plus, and you need to make sure that you have a similar device that can use iOS 13 or newer to be able to run this. The app itself costs $9.99 or £9.99, depending on where you live, which makes it an attractive alternative to the more widely used options. Once you have downloaded it to your device, you need to get a piece of software called OpenTrack, which is free to download. So the setup for this is very simple. With the supplied instructions within the app, open up open track and select your input to UDP over network. Then in the app itself, you will need to enter the IP address of your computer you want to use it on. And this can easily be found within Windows. If you open up your network settings in Windows and then click on the properties tab, from there you'll be able to see the IPv4 address of the machine or alternatively, you can use the IP config command within the command prompt. Enter the IPv4 address into the server IP within the app and leave the server port as the default setting of 4242. Also make sure that you have OpenTrack highlighted at the top of the menu. From there, start OpenTrack and then start the app. I found this to be a nice alternative to having something strapped to my head and it gave me a lot of freedom from any wires. And I also found the tracking to be very smooth within DCS. As you can see here, this just works straight off the bat. It follows my head movement, just as I would normally expect it to do within track IR or the DIY head trackers. I would say my only gripe is that it took a fair bit of tinkering with within the settings to get the movement of the tracking comfortable for myself. But I found this to be the same with track IR when I owned one. So to round this all up, I think this is a great little alternative to any of the more expensive options out there. But let's face it, it is a fraction of the price of the DIY and track IR head trackers. And it would be a fantastic setup for somebody just starting off on a budget. Would I trade in my VR for this? No. But then I wouldn't do that for the more expensive options either. My one wish is that this had been available when I started out in the dark old days of DCS Black Shark 1.0. I've been Tanky for the Grim Reapers and I hope to see you all in the skies very, very soon.